hi everybody welcome back again with new video in this video i will show you how we can set up an active directory with dns to act as a domain controller over windows server 2022 so with all that being said let's jump in i'm here right now over windows server 2022 so let's have a look at the server manager let's uh, click here on local server and let's have a look at the properties of this server we can see that we have computer name you can change it from here yes uh, you can change from here change it and it will require for start uh, we need also to set a static ib okay for the network from here as well uh, if you want to check the complete installation i will put the link in the description and you can see it also in the top here in the top of the video as a uh, info card you can see here the the ib also set here for to be as static check your network and put this one to satisfy the requirement and also you need to change the time zone in case if you have different time zone it will be a problem for you in case because you will use a uh, kerberos and kerberos depend on the time and your server also will uh, act as an ntb uh, service or server as well so the time will be pushed for all the server that connect to this active directory so be careful for from this uh, this thing if you want also to enable uh, the, the the remote desktop you can click here to be able to access your active di uh, your active directory server or domain controller server using the rdb if you don't you can just uh, put here don't like this and apply but for me i will keep it that's it uh, once you have all these uh, prerequisites um, set and everything is fine you can proceed right now with the next step so to set up the active directory or let's say domain service with dns we need to just click the dashboard then from the dashboard select the number two here add roles and features click on this link it, this uh, window will show up for us so you can read this one so then uh, click next select this one role base and feature base install installation click next then select this this server will be listed here if you have any other listed server you can click but we have here this server so we'll click select this one and click next here we have uh, the, the roles so i will select active directory domain service like this then from this window add features and also i will take also a dns to be a dns server tools also we add this feature then next next here we don't have anything we don't want any feature here we can click next here we'll now it will adds this one active directory domain service and this one dns server so here we'll proceed next for the domain server next here we have a confirmation it will com ask you for to confirm that uh, you want to install those uh, uh, services and uh, tools uh, yes you can also um, put here automatic restart if you wish but for me i will keep it unchecked and i will install we can see here that the installation is finished now we need to promote this server to a domain controller to promote this server to a domain controller we have two options we can click from here from this link but in case if you close this window you have option to come from here and then click this one promote this server to a domain controller but before for me because i didn't close this one so i will click here this will uh, bring another window another window will show up for us so because we are right now promoting this server to an uh, a domain controller we need to select uh, options here we can see here select uh, the deployment operation uh, for us we need to have an uh, add a new forest because we don't have here uh, those options is not available for us so we need to add a new forest and i will name this uh, forest i will name this forest is icyberlab.com like this next here uh, the latest for us is 16 to 2016 2016 like this and keep everything here default here we need to uh, uh, add a password
then next here we can see that the domain name netbios domain name is icyberlab we can click right now next here where the uh, active directory or the domain controller will save the uh, user information and tds so we will um, just click next here we'll keep the default we can see here that uh, we have review option it's like summary uh, for all the uh, things that we have done before so we'll keep it as is and we can click next right now here we will do like a prerequisites check it will check if this uh, server uh, or um, the this active directory is uh, okay to set up a domain controller on it it will be yeah we can see that's here prerequisite check complete all prerequisite checks pass successfully click install to begin installation so we can right now install now we can see that the uh, this server was successfully configured as a domain controller so it will ask us your uh, you are about sign out so let's uh, close this one now yeah we can see it's restarting now we can see here it's uh, right now uh, ask us to press ctrl alt uh, delete to unlock so let's uh, press here send send this one ctrl alt delete we can see here that uh, icyberlab administrator user now it's right now using the domain not the computer name so let's pass the password now we are logged into the uh, to this server and this server is right now act as a domain uh, controller so we next step we need to work uh, on dns now we need to check the static ib and the network adapter ethernet uh, zero so let's check if the dns um let's check here yeah and then yeah this one we can see here that the preferred dns set to the local host we need to change this one to be the same like this um 10 10 to 133 because this server right now is acting as a dns and uh, 10 10 to 2 this one for the nat because i'm using the nat so i need also to reach the outside as well so i will press ok then ok we can see this icon should be changed yeah changed right now i am right now the internet is available for me nice uh we have one thing else we need to add uh, the reverse lookup so to add the reverse lookup we can uh, go to the tools then dns and the from dns this uh, dns manager uh, window will show up for us we can see here that we don't have any uh, reverse lookup zones so let's create one next then yes it's primary yeah to all you can pick this one next yeah it's ib version 4 here the network it will be 10 10 2 i have this is the network id for me it will take the network only so next yes allow only secure dynamic updates next and finished if we expand this one and this one right now so once we add anything in the forward uh, lookup it uh, we can pick the ptr so it will automatically generate a, a reverse lookup uh, the reverse lookup is help us in case if we have the ib we can guess the or we can query the name from the ib it will help us too much anyway we can configure it like this right now and uh, that's it for the dns um once we finish the dns let me just show you how we can um, uh, create uh, users and uh, organizational units and how we can uh, manage the active directory so let's uh, head to tools then from tools we can go and come here active directory users and computers here we can see that we have this uh, domain uh, let's click on it we can see once i click this domain i have here uh, icons so we can here see that create a new org organizational unit for this uh, for the current uh, container so let's create one i will name this one uh, as dbms now here i have new object i will name the this uh, org organizational unit as a dbms here it's uh, up 
to the company or the organization how they are managing the structure of the organization or the company you can uh, use it here but for me here i'm using it as an example so i will name it as a dbms i will click ok we can see here that i have here a dbms um the ou is created here so let's create a user inside this um, ou so i will uh, click here and then I will name it like this SQL and uh, I will name it also admin and I will name it also here SQL admin this will be the username then next I will here make it as uh, I will remove the must change and I will create it as never expire it depends how you can create this user and I will also here put the password the password here should be complex password so i set one let's hit next we can see here it's give me a review for this information so the username or login name is sql admin at iCyberLab.com. finished i can see here that the user is created under this ou so that's it uh, for the that's it for the creation and uh, the active directory i think is um, a huge uh, topic uh, we cannot cover everything here i just this is just a basic how you can uh, create things i come to the end of this video thank you for watching see you next video have a good day bye